everyone. You know, there's nothing like having a break in the routine and ordering takeout every once in a while. We love to do that on Fridays. But since it's Thrifty Tuesday, we're going to show you how you can save money and make your takeout meal for half the cost of what you'd pay if you'd ordered in. So I'm with Chef Karima again, and we've got a takeout order, and we've got an order that was done by you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to go through the numbers. Please. So, you know, there are a lot of food apps out there, food delivery apps. So this is four burgers, four orders of fries, like I guess four combos with, with two Cokes, uh, $45. Okay, that's the real. And when you add in the service charge and the delivery, like I don't even want to tell you. Oh my God. $65. $65 because they are very pricey. Now, Chef Karima goes in her kitchen and she cooks up some burgers. $13.50. Yes. Four burgers, tons of fries, two cups of Coke, uh, some pop and you were, you were ready to go, that is a significant difference. Yes, it's huge. So if it's you're huge. looking for your burger fix, maybe you want to try uh, to make them at home. Let's start with the protein like we okay, always do. So the that's protein. the expensive stuff. That's the expensive stuff. I Okay, so if you go grocery store again, mm -hmm. they come in a container. The container is exactly one pound. Okay. So this is one pound, and uh -huh. it was $8. Okay. So this is ground beef, lean ground, ground beef. beef. So usually lean ground beef is a little bit pricier. Yes. So having it for eight dollars is awesome. And you can make four patties. You out can of make the four pound. patties. Yeah. I have three. At least. The uh, least. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have one going, but yes, you can make four big ones, and then yes. if you want to make um, mini ones, yeah. you could get like eight. That's right? true. Right? Little sliders. Exactly. Okay. So how are we making our burgers and fries? Okay. So this one is a simple recipe. Yes. Very simple. I already have it in a ball here. I already seasoned it up and everything for you. Uh huh. So salt. Black pepper, yeah. garlic, and onion powder. Lovely. And then just ball it up. Yeah. I have one going, so I'm just going to flatten this one and add it to there. Now, are your kids like my kids, and they actually want the fast food burger, and there's nothing you can make that can be the same as the fast food burger? No, I'm a chef. Of course you are. <laughs> so you make it like they got it from the fast food exactly, place. They're exactly. They're like, no, 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 mommy's no, got my it. No, my mom, why, why buying food is... Right? So now you need a break every once in a while. Exactly, exactly. But a cheaper break than it's this. Cheap. Well, I actually went um, out last yeah, last night and yes. I got a burger and fries. Yeah. And at the restaurant, it wasn't. I'm not gonna say the name. It was yes. delicious. Yes. But for the burger and fries yeah. without a drink was yeah. twenty two dollars. Twenty two bucks. Do you remember growing up when a burger was five bucks? Uh, um, uh, two ninety nine. Right? Yeah, and it's maybe the whole combo was, was five dollars. Exactly. Like, give them a ten, you get change. You got change back. Yeah, yes, for those sure, days for sure. are over. So okay. with the wedges, yeah. So we're doing wedges, not fries, but you could do whatever you want with that. Yes. Um, the bag of potatoes I got was yes. uh, what was it? Three ninety eight. It was three ninety eight for a bag of potatoes. For a five pound bag of potatoes. Yeah. But if you got four separate russet potatoes yes. it was five dollars so it was more it was cheaper Super. or is more of a money saver to, to buy the full bag to buy the full bag yes and then if you don't want to do fries again you could do mashed potatoes Absolutely. you could do scallop potatoes yes you could put in a soup right yeah. so that whole that five pound bag of potatoes yeah went a long way right you're always going to use potatoes you're always going to use rice, rice. so yes. buy the biggest bag possible exactly. it's going to be the cheapest per portion exactly yeah so i just cut them in wedges mm -hmm. so Quarters. Yep. And we're going to add some olive oil or any oil of choice. Okay. Right? Some garlic powder, onion powder is this yep. one? Yeah, onion powder. Garlic powder. I like that you do this on your fries. I never tried that actually. Oh, listen. Yeah. Parmesan cheese. On Parmesan cheese. That's a After? good idea. Oh. Yeah. It's delicious. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit and of salt. And some salt. We're going to mix it up. Mm-hmm. And you could, depending on your oven. Yeah. Uh, 375. Yep. And 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. If you have a convection, yeah. maybe 25. Okay. Right? And so we did like that, and then we're going to put that in the oven. But the finished product it's is amazing. And what I did with it, I did a side of Chipotle, homemade, yes. you, you could buy it. Yes. But this one, because I actually had all the ingredients at home. I had the mayo, I had yeah. the chilies, I had the Cajun and the cayenne. So it works out. Just mix that up to just make mix your it up. Chipotle. Exactly. I'm going to go through some of the other costs here. Yes. Uh, the buns, $2.69 for eight, so $1.35 for four. The tomatoes, 98 cents. She used two. Yep. Uh, the onions, $1.91, but only using half, so that's 80 cents. And then the lettuce, uh, she only used a quarter of a head of lettuce. The head of lettuce would have been 198 She used about 50 cents worth. 
And so $13.50 for a takeout dinner, but made at home yes. for four people. And if you were to total the entire grocery shop for the meal, the lettuce and the tomatoes and the onions and everything included, it's $22. A far cry from the $65 for the takeout that you had exactly. brought to your house. So exactly. give it up for Karima for saving us that money. To take out for $50 and make it at home for $13.50. Amazing. Time for a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Very good job.